Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Jerry. And if it's your first time here, thank you so much for tuning in. And if it's your second time or you always tune in when I upload a video, thank you for always supporting your girl. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I eat in a day from breakfast to lunch and dinner. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And disclaimer, this is not what I eat every day my menu actually varies depending on the day how i'm feeling on that particular day and most importantly the budget so i hope you enjoyed this video and let's get on to the video first thing we're going to make is breakfast i've already added my tea leaves and milk and after that, I am going to just add um, sugar and I normally go with two tablespoons of sugar because I am not a um, sweet tooth person. Then I always add either cinnamon or ginger or tea masala. But this day I added cinnamon and ginger and I think I forgot to uh, place the part where I was placing the ginger. So the tea is almost ready now and I'm just going to, you know, use the sieve to do this. I don't know what to call this process, but I just do that. So now I let the tea boil for like five minutes and then after that I keep it inside the almost fast And the other thing we are making for breakfast is pancakes and I'm going to go with uh, Dola and Chapa Mandashi. Um, if you're in Kenya, you basically know of this brand and one egg, just one egg. Then I just place all ingredients in the bowl and just, you know, do the cooking. It's nothing really hard. So I then add sugar, uh, like two tablespoons of sugar and a pinch of salt. For me, I cannot eat my pancakes if they don't have salt in it. I was having a debate with a friend and they told me that I'm weird for keeping salt. But trust me, the pancakes taste way better with salt. If you use salt, kindly comment in the comment section so that I don't feel alone. And for the chapa mandashi, I go with a pinch of it as well because I've noticed if you keep a generous amount, uh, the pancakes don't taste well. Then now I'm adding milk and water and just mixing everything up. I always use this takeaway plastic forks. They are really good at like whisking this. If you have a whisker, it's good. But if you don't have, you can use one of these forks. They work like magic. I have to make sure that the consistency is a floy consistency for good results. Then I pour the oil inside the pan and add the pancake mixture depending on the size I want. Like, yeah, and that's it. So 
so it's now lunch time and l- most lunch hours i always uh, take leftovers the food that i had prepared yesterday and for this leftover today was pilau and i'm going to reheat it i'm going to show you a very traditional method of reheating food since i don't have a microwave this is a really really good method and actually way safer for reheating food so i make sure that the heat is on low heat and then i add my pilau onto the pan just as simple as that then i add a little bit of water and after that i cover the pan and wait for about five minutes yeah and now the food is ready and it's super hot you can literally see I'm just checking if the rice is ready and it is ready and it just looks like I prepared it today but using this method you have to make sure that the pan is non-stick this method only works if the pan is non-stick then I'm going to place my pilau on my plate I just love using this plate so don't come for me in the comment section yeah and I just add all of it because it was not that much and then I take one banana I always love eating a, a pilau with banana rice with bananas I just feel like the food tastes way better I'm just going to slice it into small pieces Then I am going to take my chili. I had prepared this when I was cooking the pilau at that time, so it actually it's actually leftover chili. I didn't feel the need of like um, of um, reheating it because the pilau is hot, and if I just place it there, it will be ready. That's the pilau and how it looks. Super delicious. Like it was just made at lunch time but no this is actually leftover food finally it's now dinner time today for dinner i'm preparing minced meat and it is super icy by the way i have to place it in water for like some time and then come back and prepare it we're using two tomatoes one big onion and um uh, tomatoes green pepper and onions with um potatoes i'm just going to add a little bit of oil because this mincemeat tend to have so much oil uh, place the onions until they're golden brown you know the gist now added the minced meat after the onions and after that i'm going to be adding the green pepper and also um yeah i'm gonna be adding the green pepper carrots and potatoes to add curry powder i love using curry powder when i'm preparing anything beef i love this and i'm also going to use the nor beef uh, cubes and i don't use the full um, cube 
I cut it into two and just use one piece because um, the food is not that much for that whole piece yeah and continue stirring and stirring and stirring After adding all those um, um, first ingredients the last thing that I add is tomatoes T that's just how I prepare my minced meat stew then I'm going to cover it and let the tomatoes cook until they're soft uh, then after the tomatoes have cooked I'm going to add some tomato paste just to give it color and then some water of course because I always like my um, potatoes well cooked I really don't like eating and then I could like bite raw potatoes I don't like that so and then I'm also going to add some soy sauce two drops of soy sauce I don't like going in with a generous amount and also this helps uh, my stew to have this really tasty feeling and also some salt I'm going to be having minced meat and spaghetti and this is the first time I was using this brand of spaghetti I've never seen it in my life but yeah um, that was the only one available when I was going to buy spaghetti so the water is ready I'm going to place the spaghetti and then one thing that happened on this day is that this other spaghetti you can see like the remnants there because it was really hard to cut so if you know of this brand kindly tell me and lastly I'm going to add some blue band and yeah that's it for my dinner So guys that was it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed every bit of it as i enjoyed making it and i'm gonna see you guys on my next youtube video Bye.